Welcome back. You're watching Breakfast with Dan and Nagat. Now, when it comes to movies, films about the Mafia, perhaps Blackpool, does that work for you? Mm, it, well, I wouldn't have thought so before I'd seen the film. Yeah, it certainly works with this. The town is the location for a new film set on the night of Halloween. It's called Trick or Treat. Follows a few hours in the life of some middle-aged ex-gangsters. It is good. Take a look. look. Oh, OK, let's have a little look at it first. <clears throat> Welcome to my parlor, said the spider to the fly. <laughs> <laughs> it stands here. Here. Yeah. Well, you're a pretty one, aren't you? But obviously a bit old for me. <laughs> <laughs> That's better. I don't like the surly ones. Oh, the surly ones, they bring out the worst in me. You're going to have to tell me something, Gregory, and no fibbing, mind, because I'll know. And then things will become less agreeable. You need to tell me where your brother Danny is. You are evil. You are one <laughs> wicked woman. It was quite a stretch. <laughs> <laughs> this is actor Francis Barber, of course, the film's writer and producer, Geraint Anderson, as well. Good morning Good to you, morning. Ben. Did you enjoy it? Did you enjoy I it? I loved it. And it was such a welcome return to Blackpool for me because um, I'd done a series called Funland a few mm. years ago that Chris Marshall, who's also in our film, was in as well. And Blackpool is... It's got a dark underbelly, and it, it's like the Las Vegas of Britain, I mm. think, and it's, it's so filmic because of the tower, yeah. because of the illuminations, and it's a bit kind of scuzzy and yeah, sleazy, yeah. and I loved it. <laughs> yes, it, it's an amazing place to shoot a film. It's got all those colours. It was, for the cinematographer, it was a sort of smorgasbord of delights, and, and so many films are made in London that we were really... And it's also, of course, the two leads, Craig Kelly and Dean Lennox Kelly, mm. are both from Blackpool, from so Blackpool. it's kind of coming home for them. But it wasn't very nice being on Blackpool Pier at 2 a.m. <laughs> in the freezing, bitterest yeah, It can cold. be chilly up there, can't oh, it? Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, Gemma, let me ask you about the... Mm. Um, you mentioned that the lead's there, because the relationship between the brothers is crucial to all Absolutely, of this. So explain yeah. the story for us. So it's about um, a depressed sort of man, ex-gangster, going through a midlife crisis. I don't know where I get this inspiration <laughs> from. Uh, and he, he suddenly, he's there sitting there in his house and suddenly there's a knock on the door and it's his estranged brother, played by his real-life brother, Dean Lennox Kelly. And he says, look, I've just run someone over, I'm drunk, it, it, the body's in the boot, you've got to help me out. But of course, all is not as it seems. And then you've got about a 90-minute roller coaster ride full of twists and turns. And it, it's, you know, hopefully, it, it's, it's trying to highlight the issue of, of male depression, but doing it in the least depressing way possible. And, and that's, that was the kind of mission that I had when I wrote the, book, when I wrote the film. Why, um, why do you think it's so important now? We see so mm. much, um, so many filmmakers and documentary makers addressing the problems of mental health um, now. It's, 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 so it's something that we can talk about comfortably. It's curious, isn't it, because of the whole stuff that's come out with Prince Harry, mm. you know, which is... I think has been probably bubbling under the surface for a very feeling long time. The feeling the pressure of and, the media. And feeling yeah. the pressure of everything. But I think what I believe our film tries to suggest is it's not just the man having the midlife crisis, because that permeates mm. to his wife, to the children. Yes. The effect to, on others, isn't it? Yeah. it? It's the effect on everyone around them, the immediate family, the distant family, neighbours, whatever. And I think that, you know, Craig's first line in the film that Garrett <laughs> wrote is, you know, I should be hunting mammals. And I think it's a male Mammoth. problem. Mammoth. Oh, Mammoth. <laughs> Mammoth. Mammoth. Similar, it wasn't your line. Similar, yeah. It wasn't yeah. mine. Yeah, sorry, yeah. Yeah. And and it, actually, the right to know. And, and, and actually, it's, you know, it's sort of... It, there's some shocking statistics. Like, the, the biggest single cause of death for men under the age of 45 is, is, is com committing suicide or taking their own life. And, and, and three-quarters of, of suicides are by men. And whilst this film isn't really focusing on that, it's, it's trying to highlight it. And, and then that, that's, I think it's a really important issue. And only now are people beginning to talk about it. Mm. So from the moment of reading the script, was that when you were you were in at that point? Were you? Oh, I was in because it was playing a nasty, vicious. Oh, right, okay. Character. Before you you read about the mammals and the mammoths, you were in. <laughs> See, I didn't read my bit. <laughs> I only read my bit. I mean, I didn't read anybody else. No, it, I, it's just a really interesting film, and it's very fascinating because basically it's a, a huge MacGuffin. The whole film is a MacGuffin in that his wife is trying to shake him out of this malaise. 
And so all her friends come on board trying to, pretending they're gangsters, pretending that all kinds of dreadful things happen. And then at the end, Geraint Don't pulls... Don't spoil it. I won't. <laughs> yes. He pulls Do the rug underneath yeah, yeah. and it's an even more huge MacGuffin. And the, yeah. it's like, oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, I mean, I'd like to think from about five minutes in it, you know, you are kind of glued to your seat and you're wondering what on earth is going to happen next. And That's that was exactly what Maga said this morning. So, I, I was so watching. Did you watch it? Yeah, 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 I watched it. And I, from the, and I, I, I kind of I wanted to watch it almost between like yeah, my fingers yeah. because it's just so dark mm. and... Yeah. But there's Hence, some humour as well. There's right? lots of humour yeah. in it. And it's because it's very British, enjoyable. you know. Like it is that. very thoroughly yeah. enjo enjoyable. And, and we're going to do a special screening, actually. Francis is going to come up and we're going to do it at the Blackpool Odeon on Friday. And then we're going to, then it's going to go at Cleveleys and Southport and, and um, Stock, uh, Southport. And then hopefully, if it's good enough, it will Beyond. spread yeah. across Britain. And we won three awards at the Marbella yes, Film so Festival. Yeah, yeah. English right. Best Actress for this lady. Yeah, and no, also great. Best best Feature best film, film, which was in, a real shock. I, I wish I had thought about it, that was a possibility, because then maybe I would have drunk a little bit less before, and I might have even written a speech. <laughs> there is some footage on social media of that speech, but hopefully you don't need to oh, see that. I'm, right. I'm going to search for it right now. <laughs> it's been an absolute joy having you We're both. lovely to be here. Thank you so much, Francis and Karine. And um, the film is called Trick or Treat. Yeah, find out where very, it is. Very, very, yeah. very, very it's, good. It's good twist. Straight into Naga's top five of the year, I think. Yeah, no, it is. It's gone up there. Um, 13 minutes past nine. End of breakfast this morning. I have a phone call to make to Carol, remember? Oh, yes. Carol, she's coming. <laughs> have a good day. Have a lovely See day. Bye-bye. <laughs>